Hey guys, we're back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a pixie cut um, wig using Janet Collection 28 piece. Um, if you saw my videos before, you've seen this me do this style before. But anyways, I'm going to talk you through the, what I do. Um, I'm going to start with the sh arm short in the back, the middle, and the, the medium length in the middle, and the long length in the top. I'm using the cap with this on the front because this is all I had and I like how they fit anyway. So, um, anywho... Let's get into the video. So I'm gonna start off um, showing you how I bun it, but I'm gonna be having the, the um the mannequin head to face towards you, and we're gonna take two tracks and we're gonna glue on the cap. And I'm using this is all the products I'm using. Um, 30 second bun, pump it up, spritz the gold, my um oil spray, razor comb, Britney brand, I think. Or a Twinkle, Draco, one of them, Darko. Uh, my scissors and my flat iron. So let's start. So when you're doing a wig, especially when you're using bunny glue, and this is a um, mesh wig, I went ahead and put the glue down and I sprayed a little bit of pump it up just so that first track, and this is even when you're doing a head, the first track is always the most stubborn. So, and if you're new, subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment, like, all of that good stuff. If you're not new, hey, you guys, welcome back. I know y'all miss me and I miss y'all too. So, this is how the first track is from side to side. And we're going to continue that step all the way until we get about right here. And I'll let you know what's the next step after that. So, let's stand up. And I'm going to hold the mannequin head down a little. Just so I can bun and show you guys what I'm doing. So, that's perfect. So, bum. Same way. Like I said, just put spritz. What's that? Kind of piling up into the into the mountainside, and I remember the right side of the aircraft has to be pressurized just for the fact that there's no air. And I should have been using the dryer because this hair is so short. It it pretty much takes a little bit more than it does if you're using um, regular straight hair to keep it down. That way it won't slip out. But anyways. You done? Oh, I thought you recorded. I can. And periodically just comb through your work. That way you can um make sure nothing is slipping out or anything like that. So let me go ahead and turn it this way. <clears throat> I'm gonna get another thing so I can um record from two different angles. Kind of. No, I'm telling them no mind you. Look out the window, baby. You, that's probably up there. You know how they do it at night.
So as you guys can see, I'm just going side to side, side to side, side to side. What is they calling gorillas? Orange men or something? Oh. Africa. Oh, okay. So I'ma lift it. I ain't mean to lift it up like that, but I'ma lift it up like that too. So I'm um, lifting it up. I look back and I And you're just gonna continue on. Continue this step. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get um, further up, and then I'll come back and let you see um, once I get to a different step of the style. Okay, you guys, so I bonded all of this from here to here. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm start, I'm going to start bonding this way until I'm satisfied with how full it is. So let me show you what I would do. And don't worry, if you're doing a client's hair, anytime you do this style, in my personal opinion, you should always use paper because this style consists of a lot of glue. And you don't want to get the glue on the, your client's head, so you will use paper and glue. And if you mow your client's hair down good, you won't have to worry about any glue at all. What happened? I did that. I got mine. Trying to start over. You hit yours. You hit. I'm talking about the. I was talking about the remote. My remote on the floor. Over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is how I do, even when I'm doing someone's head, I do it the same way I'm doing it now. I'm going to continue to go around. And I always do two tracks at a time, sometimes three, depending on where I'm at in the style and what, where, um, how much glue I lay. And I'm going to do three this, this time. So I don't have to put any more glue. Hold on, let me get it back. <coughs> so I didn't have to put any more glue in the middle, just on the sides. So show you from up top. Next door to that. 
daughter um, has lived in Denver most of her life, but she still gets her bike at her house because um, her father has it. But I'm outside. I rarely shop. Um, yeah, you let your child go in their house, girl. You a damn fool. But you let your daughter go over there, but his daughter couldn't come out the door. My child wouldn't have went over no man house like that. The hell? But you let her go. Like, come on, lady. That is so stupid. She nervous playing there, but you still let her go over there. So this is how I bond it. Just like that, you guys. So let's pull it back up. So when you're doing a pixie cut, <clears throat> you would want to kind of leave this much space for when you're cutting, chopping, styling. That way you can have enough to work with in towards the front, if you get what I mean. So let me start bonding more across. And I'm kind of using all the hair today because I'm doing a wig, I guess, and the mannequin head is a, a little bit bigger than a human's head. But that's okay. For her to be not do that, she still she keep it real she keep herself up. Oh, wow! I would have said what that means. Uh, I'm finna live. Eat five things live, y'all. Don't be mad. Eat some of. Ain't that some shit? I'm talking to my followers. Okay, so perfect. This is how it should look. And you don't have to use this cap. You can use a regular dome cap. This is what I had, and I can work with it. So, uh oh, you guys. So it should look like this. Just like that. So just comb it all out. And then we're gonna go in with the long. The long this is the longest length. <clears throat> so the same way I glued the rest of the hair is how I'm gonna glue this. But I'm gonna bond this down in her face now. And this I'm gonna use three tracks at a time. And my goal is to use all of the long because I want it to be really full. Depending on how you want it to be in the front is how you would use the hair.
spent the night on a downstairs couch. In the morning, she told me the reason that she had slept on the couch is she was trying to distance herself from her. You know, that she just felt that there was maybe some issue there that, that she did not want to be involved with. She had asked me for a ride to the fairground because she wanted to go home. Along the way, Should have knew that. So freaking naive. Uh, uh, two by four or three by six or something. My bad, y'all. The ring light fell. Okay, so this is how it looks, you guys. This is how it should look, you guys. So what I'm going to do is take the rest of the hair and I'm going to go around here into a full circle. So let me go ahead and start that and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so all the hair is bonded. What I did was put the glue right there. It's just a little circle space about that big. And I'm going to use the closure piece. Make sure you cut the lace from around it. Cut the lace from around it so it can be um just the hair part. And I put glue there, and I'm also going to put glue in the middle of the closure piece. Put some spritz and just put it there. And make sure it's a little dry before you put it down because you don't want the, the glue to seep through the hair. sure it's completely dry. Now, this is the fun part.
Long in first. Midways. And you're just raking it lightly. You don't want to do too. You don't want to rake it too much because you don't want to cut too much off. That's when you're in the middle part. So you can go ahead and start using the short part because you're gonna go downward. And you cut it how low you want it. Again. Honestly, there is no right or wrong way to do it. You can style it any way you want. You can cut it any way you want. It's all up to you and your client, but I always do it to fit my client's face. So, some may be different from others and some may be the same, depending. Again, short side, I mean the longer side, because that's what gives it layers versus a clean, blunt cut. So. And you just comb through it periodically to make sure it's how you want it to be. And clean your blade, I mean clean your comb when you need to, because it's gonna require it as you cut. And when I'm making a wig, honestly, I never really cut sideburns because you don't know where that ear flap is going to be once the client puts the cap on. So I never really make side flaps. I mean, um, sideburns. So I'm just going to slightly rake it around, comb everything down so I can see if it's thin enough. Go back in. And with this, I really don't want to cut much in the front because it wasn't that long. Sometimes you can get... So I'm good. It's, the quality of the hair is good, but like the length sometimes is shorter than what you're usually what you usually get. So I'm just spraying that middle piece. Okay, so now this is where this comes into play because look the way I cut it once I comb it it just pretty much feathers any way you comb it it's a nice look so with the front what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it up and just cut downward So I'm just going around and cutting as you got as if I was doing a layer um cut or a bob or something of that nature. You're just gonna go around and cut. You can do it with the razor or the scissor. But I'm a beast with both, so I just go from one to another periodically. Because that's just what I do.
go ahead and comb down. And remember when you're when you did the sides, you use this part so it's giving more of a layered look. So you can go back in with the, the blunt part and just clean it up. And there's a track that came loose, but that's fine. I don't think he screwed up because something came loose. That's that's a part of here. Oh, I knew it, because that little side profile was out of there. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to do any sideburns or cut. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to scrape them either because I want it to be able to be moved any way the client likes it. Just pretty much going up and clean, going around and just cleaning up spots where I think it needs to be taken down.
So pretty much. Pretty much that is how that goes. And you'll see the rest at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, click the notification bell. If you like the video, of course, thumbs it up, comment, whatever. Thanks for the support and see you guys in the next. Something didn't feel right. But I just ignored the feeling because I was feeling that way for two long weeks. And I